so we're going to look at doing the traps now in the traps here this this seven seven lines depending on which helmet because some helmets like the hero helmet has eight on one side and seven on the other uh I tend to just paint the seven in and then put an extra one at the end and it seems to balance out. Again, you can try and draw them out with pencil. I mean, if, if that's that, if, if you can get it on there, sort of draw your lines out, but I've, I've been doing this for 10 years now, so I tend to just do it as, as they are. And the easiest way for me to find out to get, an, to get an even spacing between the lines. Remember you're using this line almost like this line here or this 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 knuckle of the helmet here is your it's is what you're putting it against so you're doing it parallel to that you want to start off then because you you're painting over a bump that way and you're also painting round that way so you but you're trying to get a straight line on such an uneven surface this is why you know just ma marking it out with a pencil uh, can make it a bit easier for you. So the next line I paint in is then there. So I've got my two end ones now. So there's one in the middle. Again, trying to keep that parallel to the two you've already got. Don't be too concerned about going up too far or not going down far enough because we can correct that afterwards. The point is to get them in there and get them neat or as neat as you can. So I've got three there, so I need to put two in that space and two in that space. So I roughly know from the size of the line. Same we do in the the, the lines round the trap itself. I'm committing to it each time. Some are slightly thicker than others, but they were on the originals as well. You might find that when you... So look at that, I mean, I've blobbed on that one. That does happen. Not the greatest. But we can, we can correct that. Just go in with the grey. So what I'm doing is just neatening up the ends and making sure that they look just a bit more even. You can take your time with this. Obviously I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible for the video that we're doing. So there you go. Well now we're going to look at the back. So 6mm tape. Tamiya tape, there are other makes, yeah, 6mm uh, from the model shop, it's just a 6mm masking tape. So this, this is what we're trying to reproduce here. So I want to leave this gap at the bottom here, so what I tend to do is leave a 6mm, 6mm tape across there, and then we'll put a 1 inch standard Masking tape there. And again. Another piece, 6mm all in there. Take that away. There we go. That's your gap. Ready for painting the lines on the traps there. You might want to, you know, adjust it a little here and there depending on because again you're painting on a curve that way and a curve that way so if it doesn't look quite right or you don't you don't feel it just give it a little little adjustment here and there so you're happy with it but generally in that gap there it's about an inch and again similar sort of style as we painted on the front I'm gonna go with line here that's 13. Let's 
again better to have your paint too thin than too thick so if your paint's too thick it, you just it, you get globs of paint at your start and your, and your finish I, I prefer my paint to be like a a thick ink if anything so again there's your three Trying to keep an equal gap between each line there. And then from there, like we did on the front, it's two in, in, in each gap that you've got after that. And that gives you your full 13. As we said on the front, you can always do these in pencil first. Lines are across the back. What I'm using is quite quick drying at the minute, paint wise. You probably find that on, on, on these when you're giving them a first coat with the grey you probably have to wait give it four hours for it to for it to dry properly um, before going on with any tape or anything like that so it's, it's and, and again try and keep it as thin as possible uh, you're better off doing thin coats you're better off letting it dry your first coat for four hours then any coat after that between coats two hours uh, it's it just it, it that's that's how I found uh, it's better a better finish that way again once once the grey's gone on the, the the satin when you go on with that you should have given it at least four hours for the grey to fully dry so we've got the traps there that one's all painted Again, got that on there. Just do the outline on this one. Each time I'm using my finger as a, as a, as to keep tension away to balance on. And that way, I don't end up going and then you end up with a great big blob. And again, you're only using the tip. Okay, so, all right. There you go, simple as that. This is how we build stuff. So if you need a kit, you can get on the website. If, however, you've seen this and you think, this is not for me and I don't have the time, don't worry. We also have fully built commissions and fully built stuff or again, all on the website, just click through, choose your character, it's all there for you. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time.